the elusive uh, diaptase from the uh, I suspect that we're looking at the Antola mine, Brazzaville, Congo here, and why I say so is this diaptase, this elongated diaptase crystal wouldn't be typical to Tantara. Uh, so associations from Antola, we'd, we'd perhaps find a little bit of, of mimetite. I don't see any here, or dolomite, or even motramite, but in this case it appears to be mainly a, a solid, solid diaptase. From a display point of view, I've captured some of the still pictures like this. Now this is almost like a stand at the bottom here, so we could have it going around like this. Let's look at that section, or even going across like this. Lovely green, dark, intense. Of course, uh, diaptase also known as um, copper emerald, which uh, when you look at this lovely dark, intense green color, you get the... Uh, there's the general feel for, for the, the emerald color and I think when our forefathers found these uh, I think the name diaptase means something to do with emerald imitation emerald and whatever and the guys thought wow they don't even have to facet they've got these huge diaptase crystals to deal with and of course the Congo is known for super large diaptases and these are nice rich green uh, very similar uh, in form, this particular one, to what we find in the Kaoka felt in Namibia, uh, the elongated uh, diaptase crystals. And there, of course, we have the more typical chubby little crystals, for, uh, which we'd expect to find from uh, uh, Tantara, which is, of course, known for large chubby uh, diaptases, lovely dark green.